Hey guys, welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. Today we're in Gatlinburg, Tennessee at Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. Welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. Where we keep it hillbilly fabulous. Yee yee! Right outside the aquarium, this is a slice of a base of a giant redwood tree that fell in um, the 1950s in California. This tree was 250 feet tall and was over 2,500 years old at the time of its collapse. This slice of tree weighs 2,200 pounds and um, has enough, redwood trees have enough lumber to build an entire church. But there's some interesting information on here. Pretty much it'll tell you about how um, size comparison about this, like the Statue of Liberty and, you know, um, a giant sequoia, as opposed to the Statue of Liberty, so you can see how big they are, space shuttles and things like that. There's also a timeline. They're saying that the tree was born at 550 BC. And as you can see on there, there's lots of other things on the timeline, like the Greek Empire begins, the Great Wall of China was built, Julius Caesar died, Jesus of Nazareth is born, um, Viking Age, Hawaiian Islands, things like that. Also, it goes to tell you that the Great Smoky Mountains became a national park, was established in 1934. So this is actually an interesting piece right on the property of the aquarium. Just inside Ripley's Aquarium, as you can see, it's all beautifully decorated for fall and Halloween. Got some fish here, Ian's intently looking at the fish. This is Ian's first time at the aquarium. He, um, as you guys know, he has autism, so he's a little challenging sometimes, but I never wanted to bring him myself, but since Big Joe's with us today, we're bringing him. It's his first time here and he's so excited. This is one of Big Joe's favorite attractions. When you come inside the aquarium, this is where the piranha are. Um, have a TV screen here that tells you just a little bit about piranha. And you know, I just saw something on here that I wasn't aware of, that piranha, a piranha bite is actually stronger than a shark bite. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? I never would have thought. And it said even some of them are vegetarians. Wow. A lot of people believed if you jumped in this tank that they would just automatically attack you, which isn't true. They feed on the smell of blood. Oh, wow. So, so this is a red-bellied piranha. Pretty cool, actually. Look how quiet they are. It's just so, yeah. They're just so mellow. It's like they're not even swimming around that much. They will sting you. Now tell us about these, honey. What are these? What are these jellyfish? Moon jellies. Or a short, moon jellies. Or, or, or short jellyfish. Jellyfish. That's right. Jellyfish. Look how jellyfish. beautiful they are. These are moon jellies because they resemble a full moon when you see them from above. The sign says. So I think that's so cool. And if they're falling, they're going down. They're hunting. They're looking for. They're trapping food. Oh, neat. This is pretty cool the way they have the light on them so yeah. you can see them. So they glow. Yeah, where they glow. Those it's are amazing. Cool. Yeah, there's a close up. Look at that big one right there. Look at there. Look at there. It's an amazing animal. Oh, it is. This is the coolest thing right here. It's pretty awesome through here. It's pretty, it's dark. <laughs> but um, all the, all the attractions are lit up like this. Looks like some more eels. What I thought was cool here is that they have an aquarium control room. This is a master control room. I guess this is where all the guys and gals sit at their desks and make sure that the water's okay, that the that the um, fish are okay. This is kind of neat that you can actually see in this room to see their system control center. I think this is a pretty cool part of the aquarium, actually. Here's some more of the control room. This is actually called the life support system. All kinds of controls, and I'm sure that's some sort of filter system in there. I'm gonna walk around here and see what else I can see as far as the, yeah. This is the filtration system. I could imagine that it would be, take some heavy duty filtration to, to keep this place clean, couldn't you, honey? Oh yeah, and it's, couldn't imagine how many gallons of water comes through this place. Wow. 
This is pretty awesome though. It puts the ozone in the water. Yeah, it puts the ozone in there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I can see this one better. Ooh, that's Barracuda. A, and that's a black. Some big youngins in there. There's some catfish in this. Look at the catfish. I'm so excited. I'd like to hook this bad boy. I'd like to catch that one. Jerky Maller. Jerky Maller. That's a big old That's a big old We noodle fish. that one, wouldn't we, honey? That's almost dinner. I'd noodle that one. Lord, yes, a catfish. Well, we're at my favorite section of the aquarium, and that is the seahorses. Love these things. Look at this one. This one's expecting. That means it's a male because the male seahorses have the babies. Got a belly full of them. Look at there. And look here. Look at this little one. Oh, my gosh. I dearly love the seahorses. Unbelievable. Let's see what else. See if we can find some more. A puffer fish. See. There's another one. There's another one. There's all kinds of them in there, actually. Uh, I love them. My favorites. I love this. This is one of his, my favorite part, too. As Ian calls it, the shark tunnel. The shark tunnel. What do you think about the shark tank, honey? Shark tank, hoo ha ha! <laughs> section of the aquarium is called Curious Creatures from the Travels of Robert Ripley. Let's see what's in here. Come oh, now this is cool. This is cool. This is like a Ripley's Believe It or Not section right in the aquarium. I'm anxious to see some of these exhibits. Part of the Ripley's exhibit, there's an albino python in the water. Look here. Let me go under the water. You can see its tail. Look at this thing. She's a beaut. She is. My word. Look at her go. Well, we found the Fiji mermaid inside the aquarium. If any of you guys know who Bone Daddy 2 is, that's our friend Mike and Tam. They are big fans of the Fiji mermaid. They actually have a Fiji mermaid at their house, don't they, honey? Yes, they do. So, Mike and Tam, we found her. We sure found her. Right there. Yeah. 
Yeah. What's he doing in there, Ian? Is he cleaning up? I think. Is this dangerous? No. Look at there. I'm like, look at this. He's. I think he's putting food down in different places for the fish to find. I'm not really for sure what they're doing, but he might be cleaning up. I'm not sure. Is this a real person? Yeah, it's a real person. <laughs> why does it it's a like diver. A, why does it look like a genie scooby? Alright, that's it for Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. What do you think? Oh, it's awesome. Aquarium's always awesome. <laughs> it was fun. Big old yes. sharks. Um, Ripley's Aquarium is, of course, on the strip, right off the strip in Gatlinburg. They're open nine to nine, seven days a week. Um, my favorite part probably is always the seahorses. I adore the seahorses. What was your favorite part? The sharks. What about you, Ian? What was your favorite part? The sharks. The sharks? You like the sharks, too. Ian had a ball. Um, of course, we love the time, penguins, too. Oh, gosh. This is the first time Ian came. But, you know, we got to see the penguin parade. Oh, we awesome. got to see the dive when they were feeding some of the some of the hammerhead sharks and the, what were they, stingrays? Mm -hmm. It was so fun, you know. But, guys, you find yourself in Gatlinburg. Don't don't even ever even yeah. think about missing Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. Tell them Big Joe Malia sent you. And as always, we want to thank you for allowing a little bit of Big Joe Malia's world. In your world. We'll see you soon, guys. Seems like they just don't get our ways. They try to control.